So you, yeah. you moved into Tempe in this apartment. That's where you met the woman with the taser stuff. Yeah. Right. And um, basically they say to me, there's this apartment, he's behind on his rent, and I'll, I'll pay the rent. So I start paying the rent. As soon as Wildman moves in, <laughs> all the furniture starts to slowly disappear. Right. Mexican, Minimalist. Mexican mafia dudes are coming over, Russian mafia dudes. Um, Native American transgender people. Why are they? Sorry, um, why are they coming by? People they, are cooking cr- crack in the kitchen. More spaghetti bolognese. Did you just say Native American transgender? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. As in all he like, she's. It was an eclectic mix. Good wow. looking he she's. Wherever well man I, went. I thought Native American people were real, let alone Native American transgender. Oh. Yeah. Wherever well man went, he always inv- had an eclectic mix of party people would come over, and he, he was like he was running the area. No one can say you're racist. That's oh, what no, I'm no, sure. no, Come no, on, no. come all. Yeah. 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 Everyone's yeah. welcome. So to speak. He's LGBT friendly. Yeah. 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 You can say what you want about violence. He, he likes them all. Everyone. Yeah. yeah. It was He'll beat the- everyone up <laughs> equally. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. It was this apartment. So that he she will beat you up. I'm telling you. It was this apartment now where we started our first ecstasy parties. Okay. I was giving it away in the beginning and it, the, the pills were going so fast it's where I saw the business potential of it and the ecstasy empire <laughs> began. began in his apartment Rancho Maria in Tempe so, ju- just in case anyone isn't aware I wasn't giving them away I was getting money for this no, right. Right. <laughs> so you've seen the business potential and just to refresh people's memory <clears throat> how did you go from alright so on one hand you're a stockbroker at this point making yeah. good money Yeah. how did you go from oh there's a business opportunity here to making the kind of money you did and what kind of money was it again just so people alright so at this point of the story um, Wildman I'm having so much fun with Wildman these apartments versus all this rat race stuff uh-huh. I'm thinking you know I could make a lifestyle out of this yeah. do what you love do what I love uh-huh. and um we went out to LA, just started buying, you know, in the thousands at a time, low thousands at a time. You came out a few times, and you know, we drive out to LA and stuff, and you'd be in the car. Yeah, because I was wrong. At first, I thought I was only eighteen, but I'm just working it out now. And actually, she kicked me out at that stage. And you're, then, you're, you're still and going back to when you were in England. Yeah, and then I did yeah, prison yeah. when I was 21. I, on my 21st birthday, I got my sentence. Yeah. So then when I got out. You're in yeah. your low to mid twenties yeah. for this part of the story. Yeah. Does that yeah. makes sense. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It just it all sort of blends in, doesn't it? You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. especially with that kind so, of drug. So, how, where did the money come? Well, from? Well, Wildman at this point, Wildman's is going to accelerate into insanity and get deported, and I'm then going to keep building this ecstasy organisation while he's back in the UK. Right. And he's not going to come back now until about three years later. So what happens at which point now it's like a multi-million dollar So what thing. happens in those, just to give a condensed sort of refresher for <clears> people yeah. who might not have seen episode two, what happens in that? Well, man, on so many doors for me, like I said, he meets these people, he tracks these people. They were all the key people that I then hired to work in the organization. So this is the New Mexican Mafia, is Well, it? they were protecting us through G-Dog, yeah. yeah. Um, but but generally it was like the local rave scene. Right. So all these little rave cliques are competing against each other, and they come into Wildman because they got beefs and they want Wildman to sort things out for them. But in the end, what we did was we united them all together and had them all working together under our control, didn't Free we? Love. And we got into the college sort of the college scene by basically we'd front them pills and front them pills and front them until to the point where. You know, eventually the one of them's gonna fuck up and not owe you the money. Yeah. But it's like, all right, well, you just go to Amsterdam, <clears throat> pick you some pills up, and call the debt quits. So it's simple. So yeah. And so were you going to all the frat houses and things like that? Yeah. And and kind of well, they would come to Rancho Marietta, right? And then and buy loads of pills. Yeah. 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 So it's, it's it's weirdly you work a bit like me and you, Lawrence. Yeah. Different, but work really well together because you're sort of you know, the mastermind behind getting the money and all of that in, in yeah. the operation. And you are quite a feared guy in this in this respect. So <clears throat> you're the one telling them, all right, we'll call the debt off if you do the fucking Amsterdam trip. Yeah. Us. The yeah. best way to get people to pay me money was not to have Wildman beat them up. It was to have Wildman move in with them. Right. And I used that method. <laughs> I used that method for years. Because like I said, as soon as he moves in, you fur- travel <laughs> light. Your fur- yeah. it's just gone. <laughs> all these characters are coming over. They leave within weeks. Everyone was terrified of wild man moving yeah. in with them. Right. You you are um, <laughs> a really good duo. Uh, 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 like you, <laughs> do you know what I'm saying though? It's like, yeah. You work well together. But to get him back in the country, 
That was not easy. So, so how much money are you making roughly uh, monthly, would you say, by the time while Because you've continued the operation while Wild Man's been back in England. Yeah. How much money would you say monthly you're making? Because there's some big numbers in All there. All right, so it? it's building up. It's not a set amount. It's just getting bigger and bigger uh-huh. each year till the peak year. Peak year was probably about 99, whereby I've got people coming back with up to 30, 40,000 hits at a time. 34,000 hits as hits in of ecstasy hit pills pills so yeah. what is their worth we pay about two three quid in ho- in Holland I pay two or three dollars and they'd go for uh, 20 they go for 20 to 30 in, in America so but I, I front them out to the heads of my divisions at 10 dollars so say I'll give a head of one division 5,000 pills at 10 yeah that's 50 on credit yeah. and then he sells them to his middleman, who then sells them onto the street so I don't have to interact with any of that I'm just sat back collecting, so, collecting the money so 30, 40,000 pills. If street, I'm getting street, 10, street value, free. what is that like? A 600 grand, basically. Yeah, if street value. If I'm paying, t- if I'm fronting them out at 10 and paying two or three on 30, 40,000, my actual profit would be about a quarter of a million. And, and but the street value that they eventually go for is 20. Street value is like six, seven hundred thousand, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So that's it. And that's monthly. That's, um, could be monthly for having a run, but sometimes there were unpredictable things yeah. that would arise in that business. Yeah. So yeah. then, so you come back in, so you left where it was <clears throat> a much smaller operation. By the time you come back, you're really fucking going for it. Well, I knew you were doing better. My apartment's got nicer than that. <laughs> yeah. It's probably nicer areas, you know what I mean? Yeah. 